A little bit of everything and nothing pretentious. These days, an extra slip of paper is going with book purchases. Anyone that I know will care who's one of my neighbors. I'm handing them out and telling them exactly, exactly what this means. What this means? She found out Thursday that the bookstore, historic and women-owned for more than 40 years, is at risk of being displaced for staging, which would mean they want to park their bulldozers here, I guess, while they build the light rail station. They would offer to help us move, but as far as I can tell, there isn't anywhere to move to, and especially not in the neighborhood. Under this option, Sound Transit would displace 24 businesses and 15 residences on Mercer between Warren and Queen Anne. There are two other options on Republican Street that would not displace businesses along Mercer. The board will consider feedback from an online survey along with other factors in their action to identify a preferred alternative for the Ballard Link extension, which includes the Seattle Center Station. Just down the street, a plea for the customers at Cafe Zingaro. Just seeing the expression of the other business owners, um, you know, come to me, I'm trying to calm them down because they're all scared. Um, and it's hard. It's our, it's our livelihood. It's everything. The cafe's owner says he's scared that what he's built over the last 17 years will be completely demolished. You know, even trying to calm down the customers and friends that come in here and seeing their emotion that comes out of it, you know, it makes me believe that I have done something right for the community here. I just don't want to lose it. And this is the side of the street that would be impacted by this option. Sound Transit says compared to their realigned financial plan, the Mercer Street option would cost an addition, additional $210 million. They also stated their intention to work with the communities impacted by this project uh, during their early phase of design. Reporting live in Lower Queen Anne tonight, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.